Don't forget to go to ashkicking.com for pound for pound the best home health and beauty fragrance products. This is Bobby, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on guys? And just to let you guys know, sometime when you don't hear me start the video right away, I'm just giving you guys an opportunity to look at some of the clips and the pictures, because as they say, pictures say a thousand words. Now with that being said, let's go ahead and get into this story. So I don't think to anyone's surprise, Stephen A. Smith, he came out, he supported and backed Conor McGregor, and he said the man is not a racist, not at all. This is what ESPN's Stephen A. Smith said. And the media, the mainstream media, they are loving it. And you guys can imagine why. Matter of fact, just thinking about this whole Stephen A. Smith situation, it just hit me right now. I need to do a review on uh, Planet of the Apes, War of the Apes. I need to do a serious review on that movie. Stephen A. Smith just made me think about that movie right now. So um, we'll talk about that in another video. Let me go ahead first and quote exactly what Stephen A. Smith had to say. Now, just to get some of you guys caught up, Conor McGregor, he went on, was it the Jimmy Kimmel show? You guys correct me if I'm wrong, but he went on a show and he basically uh, refer to characters in the movie Rocky 3 as dancing monkeys. Uh, before that, when Floyd Mayweather was on stage, he said, dance for me, boy. This is something he's never said to, you know, anyone who wasn't black that he was about to face. Uh, then when shit hit the fan and a lot of uh, websites started to report this, some of the websites, smaller websites, had articles that were titled, McGregor is a racist, after his comments. But let's go ahead and quote what Stephen A. Smith said in defense of Conor McGregor. Quote, this notion that Conor McGregor was racist or whatever, I don't wanna hear that. And I don't believe that for one second. As an African American, I did not look at Conor McGregor and say, he is talking to me. To me, it is him against Mayweather. I did not view it as him talking about black people. I know the difference, and that is not what I got from Conor McGregor at all. He was trying to rattle Floyd Money Mayweather the way he tries to rattle everyone. And good luck to him because boy, he is going to need it." End quote. Man, I don't know where to start. It's a whole lot to touch on. I may have to do a part one and part two. Now, before we go over what Stephen just said, I think it's very important to note that Conor McGregor, he never did an apology, a formal apology. He never tried to explain what any of his recent comments meant. He never tried to retract them. He never tried to revise them. He just simply said, and they say I'm racist. I'm black from the belly button down. That was his way of apologizing to black people. Now let's talk about Stephen A. Smith and what he said. He said, I didn't feel that he was talking to me. That is a very weird an odd perspective coming from a black person hearing Conor McGregor refer to black people, any black people, as dancing monkeys. So in other words, if Conor McGregor and Stephen A. Smith were sitting at home watching Rocky III with a whole bunch of friends, and let's just say hypothetically, Stephen A. Smith, the only black guy there, and Conor yells out, look at those dancing monkeys. Everybody laughing in the room. Steven would be laughing right along with him. 
Because Stephen, according to what he just said, he'd be looking at it as, oh, he wasn't talking to me. He was talking about those dancing monkeys. He didn't direct that to me. Something else I just thought about. He said, Stephen A. Smith, he said that Conor McGregor is trying to rile up Floyd Mayweather. But what did the Rocky comments towards black characters have to do with Floyd Mayweather? So either Stephen A. Smith hasn't done his homework, his research, and he doesn't know what Conor McGregor has actually said in the past that has something to do with race towards black people, or he knows and he doesn't care. He's just gonna defend Conor McGregor no matter what he says. Stephen A, he's also trying to have things both ways. You can't say he's not a racist, and I quote, at all, but then at the same time, say, oh, when he said this and when he said that, he was talking to Floyd Mayweather. So when he's saying, dance for me, boy, when he says, I'm half black, how is he only talking about Floyd Mayweather? And not you, Stephen A. Smith. I mean, he said he's half black. Aren't you black, Stephen A. Smith? So he's not just talking to Floyd Mayweather or about Floyd Mayweather. He's talking about black people. When Conor McGregor is fighting white fighters, we don't hear him bring up race. He doesn't say anything about race to rattle his opponents. Why is race so much on Conor McGregor's mind now? And once again, rhetorical question, how does that have nothing to do with you? What do you mean he's not talking to you? So I guess if Stephen A. Smith, he was at the grocery store in line and some black guy and white guy is in front of him and the white guy turns around and he says to the other black guy, can you please move out of my way, you monkey? I guess Stephen A. Smith, he'll walk past the black guy and say, man, he really clowned you. And that was funny. He wasn't talking to me. That's all I know. Sound like a personal problem to me, brother. This is Stephen A. Smith talking. So once again, since Conor McGregor has inserted race into this fight and other fights before this let's go down memory lane since Stephen A. Smith said that Conor McGregor is not a racist at all I would love to interview Stephen again and ask him what he thinks about these comments that Conor McGregor made when he fought against Nate Diaz when he fought against Jose Aldo and you know for the record I, I want to say because I interviewed uh, Stephen A. Smith uh, a while ago and I have to be honest, I did not know Stephen A. Smith's reputation when it comes to talking about racism, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All I knew is he was a very strong personality on ESPN. So after I interviewed him for the first time, this is when I started to do my, my research and I started to realize he was this type of person. So anyway, getting back to Stephen A. Smith saying Connor is not a racist at all. Let's go ahead and pull up these clips of what Conor McGregor said in the Jose Aldo buildup. Quote, if this was a different time, I would invade his favela on horseback and would kill anyone who wasn't fit to work. You guys can obviously read the rest of the quote. Now, going back to racist uh, Michael Richardson from Seinfeld, who had a racial meltdown on stage, he basically said to a black person in the audience, and I quote, shut up, 50 years ago, we'd have you hanging upside down with the fork up your ass. And then after he says that, he repeatedly says over and over, screaming, he's an N-word, he's an N-word, get him out of here. I tell you guys all the time, 
one of the most dangerous weapons in the world is a microphone and a camera. And Michael Richardson and Conor McGregor, they can attest to that. Conor McGregor basically said, if this were a different time, he would enslave black people in Brazil. He would shoot and kill the slaves that were not fit to work. Michael Richardson from Seinfeld, instead of him saying a different time, which is the same thing, he said 50 years ago, not only just him, but he said we would have you hanging upside down with a fork up your ass. Do you guys recall Conor McGregor talking about forcing some white people to work and shooting them if they weren't fit to work, if this were a different time? Does anyone recall that? Very shortly after that, he fought Nate Diaz and he referred to Mexicans as those cockroaches and called Nate Diaz a cholo, a little cholo from the hood. Now, what Mexican or a black person would ever take any comment like that offensive, right? Because this is what Stephen A. Smith is trying to tell us. But once again, Stephen A. Smith, for all I know, he doesn't probably even know Connor's past. And even if he does know it, he would have still said the exact same thing. How often do we hear Stephen A. Smith jumping on camera to say that guy right there is a racist and that was extremely offensive. I as a black man was extremely offended. How often do we hear him say that? I'm not saying he's never said it. I'm just asking how often do we hear him saying it? So at the end of the day, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. You know, this wasn't a debate video because this is not up for debate. Once again, when you have surveillance evidence of the person committing the crime on camera, there is no debate, right? Unless the person is pleading insanity. But that's a whole different debate. But the good news for... Stephen A. Smith is a lot of members of the mainstream media. They are going to love this man even more. And Stephen understands this. Because it doesn't matter to a lot of people in the mainstream media if this man is a racist or not. And when I say mainstream media, let me clarify. I'm talking mainly about American websites because there were a lot of websites that reported this. Matter of fact, let me pull some up. So like I said, there were a lot of websites that reported this, but there are some main big American websites that tried their best to defend Conor McGregor. And this is the reason why when they hear Stephen A. Smith say this, once again, it doesn't matter if Conor is caught on camera committing the crime. They just want to hear someone, especially someone on the coincidental list, say that everything that Conor McGregor said is all right, and he is not a racist at all. And on top of that, he wasn't talking to me. He was talking to Floyd Mayweather. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one.